Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be covering the string terminator. Now, it's a bit of a complicated thing. Now, say I wanted to build a string with your name in it. Um, I'm going to go with Chris uh, Redfield. And now to determine the length of this string, we must include all characters. One, two, three, four, five. Now, in here, the string includes white spaces. So we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And one little thing to remember with uh, C is that there's to store some mem uh, to limit the memory. We've got to include the breakpoint. Now we don't, it's just um, some random number. I'm going to use the tilde symbol. Um, now this counts as one. Like this is the breakpoint of the string. So when we're creating a string, and a string is a very weird thing compared to other pro uh, in C plus, uh, in C when compared to something like Java. Now, to create a string, we must use the car, which is a character. And remember, we wanted to create the character of the name. And we remember that the name is that we want is Chris Redfield, in my case. It's probably best just following along with this if you're having a bit of a question. Now, to create an array, which all strings are stored in, within C. So it's a little complicated, but we create an array with the car, char, or whatever it is, um, and then name, then you use the square brackets, the next to your P, and we need to do the length. Now we've determined that Chris Redfield, including the space, is 14, but we've got to remember that there's a break point, so we need to do 15. So it will then kill the string, and the end, it will store all the values in here, including the breakpoint, so memory is secure, there's no holes for anything to leak out of. And now, what we need to do, is we just need to print F, I am percent string, and then comma, name. So this makes it much easier than just writing out a name every individual time. And I'll show you, there's going to be some more examples to why this is beneficial later, but run the program, make sure that you've got the semicolon on the end, I didn't, uh, and there we go, you see, I am Chris Redfield, I am not, but, wow, I think if I was in his shape, I'd love it now. <laughs> so, that's it for this tutorial, we'll just, um, we're going to continue on with this one next tutorial, because there are a bit more aspects of it that we need to uh, need to identify and assess, I suppose would be the correct term, and I'll see you guys next time.